Hello students, here is a problem on beam deflection solved by three moment equations. Here is the problem. Uh, compute the deflections at D and F. EI is constant. So this is the second part of this problem. Actually, it is required originally required to compute for the deflections at A, C, D, and F. In this case, we only solve for the deflections at D and F. But before we can solve for the deflections at D, deflection at D, take note that A, B, C has E, I, 2, and C, D, E, F has I, moment of inertia, I. So we need to compute first the deflections at C. Once the deflection at C is computed, then we consider C E F because in this portion we have constant I. And we can compute for the deflection at F. Once the deflection at F is found, then we can compute the deflection at D by considering D E F. So that's the plan. So the moment at B is equal to negative 45 times 1 times 0.5. So it is negative 22.5 kilonewton meter. The moment at point E is 24, negative 24 times 2. So negative 48 kilonewton meter. Then the reactions at vertical reactions at B, 3369 over 16. You can compute that if you want. Uh, these reactions have been determined also in the preceding problem. But if you want to solve the reactions again, then you can by summing up moments about E to solve for reaction at B, vertical reaction at B, which is 3369 over 16. Summation moment about B equals 0. We can get 2055 over 16 as vertical reactions at E. Then the moment at C is either 3369 over 16 times 4 minus 45 times 5 times 2.5 or 2055 over 16 times uh, 4 minus 45 times 2 times 1 minus 24 times 6. So the value of the moment at C is 279 0.75 kilonewton meter. Then later, because we want to find the deflection at D and we consider DEF, the moment at D is 2055 over 16 times 2 minus 24 times 4. And it is 160.875 kilonewton meter. So we then <coughs> compute the deflection at C first by considering or writing three moment equations in B, C, E. So three moment equations in B, C, E. Moment at B, negative 22.5 times length B, C, which is 4 divided by I, which is 2, so divided by 2, plus 2 times moment at C, so 2 times moment at C, times quantity length of B, C, which is 4 divided by I, which is 2, plus length of CE, which is 4, divided by I, which is just 1, plus moment at E, which is negative 48, times length CE, which is 4, divided by I, 1, then plus 6, area 1A over E1, I1, L1. So since the uniform load occupies the entire span BC, then we can use the formula WL cube over 4, W45, length 4, cube over 4. Then we divide it further by 2 because the moment of inertia in this portion BC is 2. Plus, for portion CE, it is partially loaded. So we use in integration here. Uh, this is 45 dx. We, I consider this as x. So, integral from 0 to 2 of differential force 45 dx times b. b is the distance of the strip from the right, which is from e. 
and it is x plus 2 over L4 divided by I1. Then quantity L square minus B square. L is 4, so 4 square minus B. B is x plus 2 quantity square. Then equal 6 EI. Since the reference horizontal line is true, C on the elastic curve, this is the expected elastic curve, the red dust curve, this is the horizontal line through C. So HB is just HP, it is positive. Uh, and we assume that B is above this horizontal reference line through C. And HE is also positive. And because the reference horizontal line is C, we have common reference horizontal line, HB equals HE. So I just replace HE here by HB and divide by 4. So 6EI quantity HB over 4 plus HE, which is HB over 4. So the value of the first term is negative 45. This one is 3,357. This one is negative 192. This next term, 360. The integral, 405. And 6EI <coughs> times 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 6EI times 1 half. So that's why we have 3EI HB on the right side. So negative 45 plus 3357 minus 192 plus 360 plus 405 divided by 3. We cannot compute HB, which is 1295 over EI. This is positive because the points B and E, which is the vertical distance is HB from the horizontal line through C, which is equal to HE also, <coughs> is above this reference horizontal line so that's why it is positive but delta c is numerically equal to hb and since point c on the elastic curve is below the horizontal axis of the beam that's why the deflection at c is negative 1 to 95 over ei the negative of hb so having found <coughs> delta c we then consider uh, CEF to solve for HF, <coughs> which in turn equal to delta F. So three moment equation in CEF. Remember the moment at C is 279.75 times length of CE, which is 4 over 1. So I'm not showing over 1 anymore. CEF has moment of inertia constant equal to I. Plus 2 times moment at E, negative 48, quantity length of CE for length of EF2. Then plus uh, <coughs> moment at F, which is 0, plus 6 area 1A over E1A1L1 for portion CE. It is partially loaded, so integral of differential force 45 dx a is 2 minus x because i represent this as x therefore this is 2 minus x the distance of the strip from c is 2 minus x so imagine that is a p a integral of differential p a 2 minus x over l then quantity l square minus a square so 4 square minus 4 minus x quantity square while for portion EF, imagine this is simply supported, the load is over the support, it cannot produce moment, therefore there's no 6 area 2B over E2, I2, B2. So again, if the load is over the support, it will not bend, it will not bend the beam. So therefore, there is no 6 area 2B over E2, I2, L2. Then equals 6 EI. Then because the reference horizontal line here is through E and C is below that horizontal line and supposedly H sub C is delta C. So that's why you have H sub C negative 1 to 95 over EI over L of C E which is 4. It is negative because 
point C on the elastic curve is below the reference horizontal line through E. Then plus HF, assuming F is above, F on the elastic curve is above the horizontal line through E. So that's why I put it HF divided by length of EF2. So this value is 1119, negative 576, the integral 315, 6 times negative 1295 over 4 is negative 1942.5, 6 times 1 half of HF is 3EI HF. So 1119 minus 576 plus 315 plus 1942.5 divided by 3. So we get HF 933.5 over EI. But HF is also delta F, the deflection at F. So it is positive because F is above the horizontal line through E, which is the axis of the beam also. So that's why delta F is 933.5 over EI. And finally, having found delta F, we now consider DEF and we write three moment equations in DEF. So moment at D is 160.875 times length of DE2. I is constant, so don't mind. Plus 2 times moment at D, negative 48. Length of DE2, length of EF2, so 2 plus 2. Plus moment at F0, plus 6 area 1A over E1, I1, L1 for portion DE, there's no load. So 0, 6 area 2, B over E2, I2, L2 for portion EF. Again, there's a load, but since E and F are simple supports, the load is acting over the support, so there's no moment. It will not produce moment, so it is also 0. Equals 6 EI. Since D is below, expected below the horizontal reference at E, so I put it, anticipate it as negative HD over length of DE2 plus HF, which is already computed, 93.3.5 over EI over 2. So this is 321.75, negative 384. Then negative 6 AI H, negative HD over 2 is negative 3 AI HD. 6 times 93.3.5 over 2 is 2,800.5. So computing for HD, HD is negative 954.25 over AI. But HD is also delta D equal to delta D because this is the deflection at D. So delta D is negative 954.25 over EI. So that's it for this video. I hope that you were able to follow the explanations and understand the solutions.